so one of the things that we're going to go over is this because there are players who use this and actually get frustrated uh, while trying to handle calls and such so I'm going to explain to you basically what this is really good for this is actually more useful online in multiplayer than anything else because this is a prisoner transport van this is all this van does you can put prisoners in here you have access to the trunk that's in here which pretty much is the same stuff that you could get with the uh, vehicle but in my opinion because this is more of a transport vehicle it really doesn't serve much of a purpose for patrol reasons I mean I suppose if there was a riot and you need the officers in the right I'm pretty sure this is where it will uh, matter the most but other than that you're pretty much looking to be the only cop hanging out at the police station waiting for call outs considering I have noticed that ever since I put up the original police tutorial video not only on the channel uh, the YouTube channel I have it on has spiked in its views but I noticed playing in the multiplayer uh, game a lot of the role play has like launched off because everybody's trying out everything to the fullest in it and when it comes to this you're really looking at online play somebody makes an arrest request prisoner transport you go find them off your map pick up the prisoner put them in there bring them back here and take care of the processing even though we have our lights that are on here and then we have our auxiliary spot that's also on here for when it's dark we still of course have our directional arrows but really what you're looking at is this is really the function if I was to use this I don't even waste my time with the computer because there's really no point because you it's not it's not a, a car so you're not going to be chasing people around and uh, majority of the other officers are going to be handling all the other calls so in a role play clan or whatever the group wants to be or if somebody chooses to be is more viable for the role of this van majority of the players work out of cars anyways and they don't really use this but sometimes it gets used and this is the the best manner that is used at now when you receive the call for the prisoner transport uh, to the county courthouse that person is going to be located back here there you are now sometimes I will have my par car parked in the lot when the player comes up here to get them and they have a tendency to speed off and take off and try to outrun me like they got to get to this courthouse first before me I'm responsible for the prisoner so far as I can see it uh, they could have gotten themselves a uh, key from somebody that they paid off and uh, could set themselves up for an escape now for those who don't know where it's at the county courthouse is right there across the street from the hospital this is where it's at now when you're rushing to be the first one here the reason why I am following you is because this is an ambush mission 
That is no joke. And I'm going to show that to you right now. So this time I got lucky, but usually what will end up happening is sometimes you will get gunned down before you even reach here. When something like this happens, search the body first. Because you're going to have to anyways. And conduct your request for your transport. And then your business with this character is done. That is why I have a tendency to follow you to the courthouse because there are times where you may get that delay but I remember when I first did it I was actually gunned down and killed and the prisoner got away with everybody else. So, But that would be why I would follow you on a multi online player. Now how do you get around this? I'll show you. So this is one of the ambushed uh, suspects had ran back while I was trying to get back in the vehicle to return here to show you uh, what I do and uh, shot at me but I took I was able to get her alive because she shot at me once and I jumped her so that is the end of that for this one if you take a look at my health bar it's kind of down which I did forget in the police tutorial to tell you that you come here and then you get yourself your healing. Okay, now I'll show you what I do when I have to do this by myself. Now, the way I do this on my own is that in my logic, if this is an ambush mission for a breakout, that this person is a high priority prisoner. Therefore, anybody on the county property that is cluttered up like this, right out of the gate, their rights went out the window as far as I'm concerned. Mainly since I'm by myself. So what we're going to do is, is we need to make sure this place is secured. Some, so when I'm following you, this is what I'm rushing for. Because even if you deliver the prisoner, don't mean a thing, they will still be here. Because they'll, you'll be delivered a prisoner, you'll be gone. Once you're gone, I'm over here in a firefight because I already know what's going down. That Transporting that prisoner meant nothing. Look at that. I brought back a, that one woman because she is part of the ambush group that was here and tried to take me out anyway. She came back here for that fight. So we're going to take care of that fight right now. So what I do is frisk everybody that's here. Because like I said in my logic we're dealing with a very high prioritized uh, convict to such a point that the transport alone is dangerous. Yeah, sorry about that ringtone in the background. I have a... Uh, that was for... Uh, just sorry for that. I have to... That's for a doctor's appointment I have to do. So anyways, we will continue on because like I said... It, because of the ambush threat, as far as I'm concerned, that warrants it. So, he's in custody. So 
looks like this is going to be our only suspect. It is illegal to have firearms on county property, mainly the courthouse. Now, even though that I found one person, I could have found myself another person. But that's how I do it, especially when I'm by myself. So, even if I was playing around in the uh, to transport uh, online, the uh, I don't have an officer escort, then this is how I'm going to handle it. Because, uh... <laughs> I'm not getting myself shot up. Try to avoid that. So basically that's how I deal with it. If I like was online and I was using this to conduct that kind of service, what I just basically do is uh, if people showed up, if officers showed up because they decided they're going to escort me there, then I would let them go ahead and uh, secure the location before taking the prisoner out. And whoever they arrest, they arrest. But when I'm by myself doing it, then I will handle everything. And that's what I do. So that I'm not gunned down there. <laughs> like the first time that it happened to me when the van was introduced. So I hope any of this helps for your understanding of the van and its usages. There's no need to get worked up or mad. It's not a pursuit unit. It never was. Its purpose is, is to transport personnel or prisoners. And that's it. Have a good day. Okay. So the vehicle we're going to go over with today is the tow truck. Because there are players who grab this are either confused, eluded, or have problems with this. And the difference between this and the van, you're not going to be transporting nobody, which I think that's self-explanatory. This is really for impounding cars. There are players that got it down by the hook process of it, but where to put the car is a different matter. So we're going to touch that right now. When you drop off a car, you leave it here, right in the center. When the vehicle is dropped off, it will despawn. That, and I'm only saying this because I've actually watched players that parked the cars here, parked the cars up against here, had them back there, actually parked some of them perfectly in the stalls, which tells me they really practice or have a full understanding how to use the tow truck. And there's nothing wrong with that. Actually, as far as I'm concerned, it's outstanding. But it's not that kind of a lot. You have to bring the vehicle so that it is past this point and is sitting as much as possible in the center here. You drop the vehicle and it'll despawn because you cannot pack all them cars here. This is where you drop the car off. It has to despawn after you had impounded it because that's how you get your impound marks. Now, in this truck, we have our side compartment known as the toolbox, because that's what they call them on these things. You go in here, and once again, you have your standard stuff for like your weapons and stuff like that, and then your traffic, as well as your additional. But when I take on the roll this tow truck, all the things that the tow truck is designed for is what I deal with it. So the only thing I'm taking out of this truck is only the vest and nothing else. When I'm done I'll put the vest back in. 
the reason is, is once again, like the van, this is not a pursuit vehicle. This is not for patrols. I'm not busting people, making arrests. I'm out impounding vehicles. There's the gas cap here. The, when you go to fuel up vehicles, always look on the side. Look for the detail of the lid because the, uh, the detail is very clear what it is. But anyways, so therefore, I'm not going to have any need for anything in here. Even though there is a computer in here, I have no intention on using it. Because I'm not chasing after nobody, pulling over nobody, nothing. And there are players that will use this truck, try to, and they can't. And they get mad, just like the van, frustrated, and they jump off. They chose the wrong vehicle. So if you, But if you call me for a hook, and I show up, and you're not on location with the vehicle you want, I'm leaving. You can forget it. <laughs> and if you call me out again, I will not come to you when you call because I understand you leave. If you place parking tickets on cars, you don't have to notify me about it. Because when I'm driving around, that is actually one of the things I'm looking for to see if other players could have put a parking ticket, said nothing on the car, and went about their business, which would be something realistically normal. Or, and when I am out looking for what cars got parking tickets on, because there are players that understand, you don't need the entire department to find one guy who ran off and got himself lost at the ocean side. Maybe two, but not the whole department. Much less for uh, drunk and intoxicated and whatnot. So there's probably that one guy going around putting tickets on parked cars. So I keep this in mind. So when I go, uh, I do look at the cars. And if I see the ticket, I will grab the car automatically. You'll, you get credit for the ticket, but I'll be the one getting credit for the impound on it. So it's not really necessary to tell me. So with the truck, we'll go over a few things, such as we got ourselves our lights. We do have ourselves the, uh, the arrow board. And then on our uh, auxiliary light is going to be a spotlight for when it's night. And then for the arrow controls, which can, uh, for the controls that can be found in settings, under vehicle, you see I have the arrows here. These control the way the hook works. I use the the keypad for connect but this is what runs that tow bar in the back now this device is known as a stinger because of the way it is the tow truck is actually apparently modeled off of a common wheel lift only truck which is what repo guys use and there are city departments that actually use this because it's serving only one purpose and that's to impound vehicles. It's not out there to tow customers' cars. So you have to... It is best to go into single player and become familiar on the usages of how the truck, in order for you to pick up vehicles, get out of tight spots, and go about your business. So when you're coming across a vehicle that you can see clearly there's something parked about it that's wrong. The uh, car is parked on the sidewalk, car is blocking fire hydrants. These are all justified reasons to impound a vehicle. And this is going completely by your uh, own discretion. So he is blocking a fire hydrant. Take his plate number. Because he is. Then we're going to hook this thing and we're going to take it. So, we get ourselves in a position in which we can do this.
that's it. Then we will take the vehicle to the impound. So we reach our point to get to the impound. I'm trying to watch my mirrors because you do watch your mirrors when you're oops when you're doing this. So we gotta get him in between that. Whoops. Okay. And that it is basically what it is to impound the vehicle. When you set these up to put them back, do not drop it on the ground because they'll tend to drag on the uh, surface of the road. Even your boss for the real job will tell you the same thing and then you'll be stuck. And once again, you'll be mad. You don't understand what's going on. That's one of the reasons. Now some locations are very clearly marked warning permit parking only. How do you know that a car has a permit while you're taking on the whole idea of stealing cars legally and impounding them? That is a permit. So we don't do nothing with the car like that. That is a permit. So there's nothing to do anything here. So, on our own discretion, there's nothing here to tow. So once again, we got ourselves another location that says parking requiring a permit. We have a vehicle that does not have one. So we implicate our ticket for the parked and no, um, no valid parking permit. And now we will take the car. So once we get the car, we try and we snatch the thing up. And then we hit ourselves back to the impound. Now sometimes the way it grabs because the tow bar, this tow bar, just so you know that is actually articulate so it, it can move and shift around so sometimes you're going to get that glitch it, it's neither here nor there it's not coming off the back so you just take it as is because there's some vehicles I grabbed and then for some reason the car flips upside down on the roof well I take it to the impound and could care less and I drop it off that way but uh, anyways so when you go to a place now, on your own discretion, there's no par uh, parking permit there, then you apply that and you take it. Now, there is a parking permit call blocking the driveway. If I am out in the patrol unit, I don't bother with it because it's a tow truck job. And if I'm doing traffic, I'm not running around doing tows. And uh, on a multiplayer base, I never take the call unless the tow truck is available. Now, let's say you go up there and you have a patrolman who takes it. There's a tow truck that's available because it's really best when you're not using the AI tow truck for that call. See, that's why I don't bother with it. Uh, what you do is, is that if you get there before the player does in, the, in his tow truck, all you do is apply the ticket you can stay on location he is the one to hook the car he will impound it but he will get the point for the impound all you will get is for ticketing the car and that's it now if I'm out here in the truck and I'm doing my thing especially if on online in a officer this is parked in a no parking area because the sidewalk is not a parking spot and the officer, there's a request for a hook, and the game officer needs a hook. And let's say he has enough sense to stay with the vehicle that he is requesting the hook for, such as a traffic stop, not a parking ticket. Now you could apply a parking ticket and leave, that's neither here nor there, because when you're driving around, you'll see it. But 
he pulled a cobra or a car or something and he needs a tow. Well, right now I'm ready to hook this car. Because the hook is requested, I gotta go. I will come back to this later. But, uh, so the best thing to do is to set your parking to medium in single player and practice with the use of this vehicle until you start getting better at it, especially if you want to use this or if you're part of a clan and they need it. Because each way the vehicle is parked is always a different situation and sometimes could run into a problematic outcome. So I'm going to do this outside so that you can see what I'm talking about. See how that worked? So you got to you got to practice on how you're doing this. So it is really best to do your practice in the single player mode and set your parking to medium so that because some cars you may have to get them at an angle or you may have to uh, get them out of a tight parking spot and because some of the cars are parked in areas where it can get tight and realistically when you are in this field of job and you have to do impounds you're not going to get a perfectly parked car you're going to have to uh, get that vehicle without damaging striking other vehicles to get it out of its location so really the best way is to practice this in single player until you start getting really good at what you're doing with it and become more familiar on how all the controls work on this truck especially in the usage of the stinger and the ability to grab and snatch cars because as you can see most of the time I do everything inside the truck. I barely ever go outside unless I feel I had to. I did that one spot just so that you can roughly see how it would look trying to hook a car, especially on a hill incline, because the tow bar has to be low and it has to get underneath the car so that the, uh, I don't know if I could get that, so that the forward point of that thing see that T that white T that part has to get up against the wheels or you're not hooking the car no matter what you do that's why so it is really a good idea to practice to uh, to practice the usage of this truck in single player until you get good enough to be able to not have it complicated on you when you run into the host player because you want to be the best tow operator that is out there helping your fellow officers and dealing with all the problematic issues that are involved in dealing with traffic such as impounding cars after pursuits as well as impounding vehicles that are illegally parked without a permit for those permit calls blocking driveways and stuff like that expanding your role and ability in the usage of this truck. And uh, I hope any part of this tutorial helped you out within the usage of this tow truck.